Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Big things today, big things. First of all, the lime tree situation. The lime tree is going home. The pineapple tree is in. Moved that spider. That spider is growing new babies again. So help me God, I have no idea. These babies from the last growth are doing wonderful. This guy needs a bath. He's doing okay. I think I overwatered him. The morning sun feels amazing. We have another heat morning for today. We are going to do some cleaning because I need to show you the most embarrassing drawer of all time. I haven't showed you yet. I need to show you. It's bad. I hope you're ready, but I'm gonna charge the battery first. Okay, here we are. Let's do it. I don't even know how much I can say about this drawer other than it's right beside my desk. So when I am doing clients, I am literally sitting right here and this is where all the junk is. So there's everything from construction paper to gems to gift certificates to a half-eaten protein bar in there. So come with me real last time. I have changed nothing about this. I have done nothing about it. I actually reached in here this morning and I was like, ugh, that protein bar, I'm throwing that out. And then I thought, no, I'm leaving it because this, this is real. And let's just, let's, let's just do it. We're just gonna do it. Also, I think I, I think I got a little bit inspired this morning um, to maybe do some 3D nail art. So, I thought about doing up some Halloween sets. Uh, they would be on tips, press on situation, um, and then they could be for sale if anybody wanted them. That being said, I always make really large plans in the morning, and it is uh, 1018. So, you know, this may never come to light. Okay, first things first, I have my garbage can open. Wrinkled piece of construction paper. Used it for a background for a picture. Never going to use it again. Gems from AR Nail Supply that she had sent me in a package. They went in here, that was not the right place for them. They will never get used in there, so I'll put those in the gems. And I always keep these little bags because they're nice for like cuticle oils and stuff. Sometimes you just, sometimes you just need them. Foil, there's gonna be random amounts of foil in here. There's another one, because when I'm using it and I'm done with it, rather than putting it back, I tend to just throw it in here. There's a floral one. Appointment cards, I do just get these off of Amazon because not many people take them anymore. Most people get me to text them or what have you. So there's random amounts of these floating around. I'm gonna stick them kind of up in here in my polish rack for right now. Tech tape, I never know when I'm going to want this to wrap like a finger or whatever. I've used this actually a lot over the years, so that will probably go back in there. I'm gonna move everything. Yeah, no, I'm gonna leave this there. Money, so this is where like my change is. Probably really the only thing that actually needs to be in there. Uh, a foot file that was for retail came out of the package and decided to keep it because I do actually need a new one at home. Botox pamphlets because I do have a lady that comes in and uses my room to provide Botox for people. So I have pamphlets here. Also, I have to tell you, I don't know how many of you guys might be affected by this, but I'm a clencher. I clench all the time, I clench during the day, I clench at night, I wake up in the morning and have to like pry open my jaws. I was clenching so, so hard. And they were aching all the time. And if I ate anything that was like candy or just anything of the sort, gum was a no-go for me. I couldn't chew gum at all. Uh, it would just ache, like I could not chew gum. And I decided to get Botox in these muscles, in your chewing muscles, and highly recommend, if you're in my area, message me, I can give you her information. Having Botox done in that master muscle was just game changing for me. My jaw no longer aches. I'm no longer, I used to find myself like doing this during the day with my knuckles, just trying to like, or like 
pushing up in just to try to relax the muscles. I'm not doing that anymore. And I do still clench at night a little bit, but I, I don't have the power behind it. Yes, I can still chew. I'm just not putting like 400 pounds of torque pressure on my teeth anymore. So anyway, that's just a little PSA for me, I guess. Let's keep going. We have some filming equipment. So this is for, I could hook you up the same way that my camera's hooked up right now and hook my phone up. So that has to stay. These are gift certificates. I just buy the good old fashioned gift certificates. Let's close it up because I don't sell very many of them. Lots of times people will just say, hey, can I email transfer you for so-and-so's appointment? Um, you know, just let her know at the end of uh, her appointment as a surprise that it's paid for. That happens a lot. So I don't sell like a crazy amount of gift certificates, so I just have these ones. I could get prettier ones, but ugh, like I said, it just hasn't really, it hasn't really come up. Um, my Skull Candy ear pods, love these. I keep the cord and the plug-in right on them because that just seems to be the thing to do because, I mean, hello, I'm gonna lose that little cord. The uh, infamous protein bar, I do like these. I just ate half of it and then left it in here for like an entire weekend. And then a week went by and then two weeks went by and here we are, it's probably stale. This is the remote to my uh, air exchange that we're, we're just gonna keep. Uh, this I believe is a lens cap for a camera that I sold. So yeah. I am going to actually keep it for just a minute to make sure it's not the lens cap for the camera that I, the Canon camera that I still have. I'll deal with that in a second. These are Werther's Original from Kathy at AR Nail Supply. She always sends me Werther's Original and I try to always just put them in the same bag because when I'm wanting something sweet, I do reach for them. Uh, last year at Christmas time, I, with white chalk, did a design on my window and I used these chalk markers. I will try to link them in my Amazon store, which is linked below. And you can take a look at those. These were super, super cool. Even if you wanted to put like your price list on a mirror or little designs, if you Pinterest like white chalk window designs, a whole bunch comes up for every season. These were so super cool. So I will link them. Actually, you know what? I will link them right now. Okay, they have just been added to my gadgets slash salon decor, you can go in the link to find those. So those will go back in there because those are really cool and I love them. I have a universal, three in one universal lens. I'm gonna actually throw it at the box, but for my phone, and this is going to be for like cosmetic tattooing pictures and hopefully maybe some nail pictures. It just allows you to get a better up close picture. This I will also link like right now, I'll just go do it, in my Amazon storefront. So just so you know, if you do purchase anything from that, I do get a little bit of a commission. It is the Kigmas 3-in-1 Universal Fisheye Lens and I'm going to add it to the filming setup list. I've been trying to update that list, those lists as I go. This is my COVID operational plan. I'm going to go ahead and say we don't need these anymore, but I am going to stick it in the back of my gift certificate booklet because who friggin' knows we might need it. iPhone charging cord. Clients tend to use it quite a bit. The Hollywood laser peels, so the laser facials uh, from Disappearing Ink in Frederick 10. If you want their contact information, reach out. I had a couple of these peels done. They are so amazing. I love it so, so much. Another pamphlet about the Botox. More foil, because yeah, no, I didn't put it away. Blue light glasses that need cleaned desperately. And another pair of blue light glasses that need cleaned desperately. So I am going to put the clear pair in the case so that they're put away. There's also another pair of safety glasses that are similar to the blue light glasses. These are pretty cool. I bought them years and years and years and years ago, but I did buy the clear ones on Amazon and I do believe they're linked already in my personal 
more foil. Apparently that's where it goes when you're done using it. So I was thinking I was almost out of appointment cards. <laughs> Joke's on me. These are from Amazon as well. More foil. An old gift certificate. I'm gonna throw that out. I did that up for somebody and they didn't come and pick it up. So wow, yeah, lots of little cards. So this is an eyewear cleaning cloth. I don't need that. Another bag of the Werther's Original. I'm gonna take those out of this bag and put them in the red bag. Oh, and this is more, this is like angel paper with hearts. It's beautiful from AR, so I will add it to the gems. I tend to unpack orders and throw stuff in here, and then it's a while before I get back to it. A set of headphones that are old school, old school sorry, plug-in, which I use for my iPad from time to time. This is a cut uh, soft measuring tape, and the reason why it's cut is I used it for press-on nails. So I'm going to let that go because I do not need that anymore. More batteries. I go through a lot of batteries in my little clock and I also go through quite a few of them in the remote for my unit. These are cards from Disappearing Ink. Oh, jeepers. So it does have her contact information on it. So if you do want that to be able to book for a facial or a laser tattoo removal, which is really cool. That is a memory card holder. I don't need it. And the reason why I don't need it is because I have this memory card book and I got that on Amazon as well and I believe it is already linked. So all of these things came out of another bag of like, Stationary. So I do need some sort of, I don't know, I need something for stationary. I just don't know what it's gonna be. Angel paper, more foil. Uh, big tweezers, they're not like, they're not great, but they're good for like picking up gems or whatever. Pinchers, never use them. More headphones, uh, these when you plug them in, they say connected, but they work. This is a client tracking book. So, what is this? A birthday card. Another birthday card. So I was using this during the pandemic. We had to write down who was here and when they were here. So these are birthday cards that I stashed. So I'm actually gonna leave those in there because that is gonna go there. There's random tips and stuff in here. We love that. And swatch sticks, more tips, more swatch sticks. White labels, so I use those for pricing for the store and actually thought I was out of them, so that's cool. A little baggie of money because I have um, waitresses and sometimes they use their chips. Tape, which I was looking for this morning, which I thought I actually no longer owned. More appointment cards. Not sure what is on that, but would love to find out. Brown glitter, super cool for fall. A quarter, an empty sheet of paper. Ah, oh, this has something to do with filming. I've literally never used it. It's like, you can put this in like the light, kind of how you are right now, and then you can hook whatever to it, maybe your cell phone, and you can like bend it, cause it's bendy. So we better keep that. We like bendy things. Okay, what is this? I'm not sorry. So I have a duplicate of this. So that is why it is here. Because it is a duplicate. We have some change, quarter in there. That ring I got with my red iguana practice hand. It's like, no, I won't say that. But anyway. Oh my God, more cards. I was going to order cards because I seriously thought it was out. I guess I just need to put these all together somewhere. Oh my God. So do you ever have that piece of jewelry that you've had for like your entire freaking life and it won't go away? And it was cheap as all get out and it's lasting as if you've paid $100,000 for it. This, this bracelet is American Eagle. I have worn this bracelet. Guys, I'm not even joking. 25 years, anyway. I bought this in high school. I graduated 
I'm not telling you when. A long time ago on my land. So I had, this is a long story, a little um, like concerning piece of uh, skin removed there. I had a spot removed there and there. So this actually covered that first spot before it was removed. So I didn't have to explain it to anyone. No one would ask about it. This was just a precautionary one, so I wasn't worried about covering that. But yeah, this covered this spot. I wore it for like years, 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 years. Literally never giving that up. This is a magnetic bracelet that I've had for a little while that I really love. And this is a scrunchie that I will never wear again. I have cutting pliers, which probably don't work. I have more Sharpies, because a girl loves your Sharpies. And guys, that's it. So thanks for coming with me through that. Some of this stuff is going back in. The batteries, the memory cards, the glasses. You know, a lot of this stuff is going back in. Not all of it is going back in this floor. There's actually not as much garbage in here as I thought. I the sparkles in the sparkle floor. I'm going to put the Werther's Original back in the drawer because we do need those. I am going to put the appointment cards in my money pouch because so that seems to be a good place for them as long as the robe as well as the robe five dollar bill more appointment cards we'll see how they make it in there the six dollars and chinies that i found then i'm going to rip open this because it's been here for like ages this money in here i kind of stashed it sometimes i do that on myself because sometimes that's fun to hide money and then find it again. The Donald's gift card can go in there. So that can go back in there. Filming stuff, tech tape, filming stuff, headphones, remote drawer, the gift certificates of the client book will go back in here. Because that is essential to what this drawer is for. The cord, we are done. It is clean, I am happy. I didn't have to throw that much stuff out. I really thought that would be so much more in depth because I have, we have been here four years this week actually, and I've never cleaned out that drawer. So I was really thinking that that was gonna be quite a process, but it wasn't. For the recap, I'm gonna keep you posted on how the pineapple tree does. I will keep you posted on how the lime tree is doing, although it will no longer be here, it's going home. I can't wait to have it at home. I think it needs a change of scenery. And I will see you guys next time. Again, if there's anything that you've seen from my Amazon, don't forget it does make me a penny or two when you purchase from my Amazon. And I thank you very much for that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.